Hello, welcome back to DIS. This this idiot speaks. Not this idiot speaks. This idiot speaks. Um, this week we are going for the Ranger, uh, Divine Champion archetype. Um, because I accidentally switched Rogue and Ranger in alphabetical review. Um, next next time I should get that under control. Or I might still be stupid. Um, Without further ado, well, let's go ahead and get into this. So, Divine Champion Ranger Archetype. <clears throat> Divine Champions have been upheld in history as some of the most prestigious and fierce com combatants to control the battlefield. They act as a zealous enforcer for their deity and carry out their will. In times of need, deities will call upon many champions to defeat their enemies in times of planar distress and upheaval. Oftentimes, divine champions are revered by the churches and cults they are associated with, and vilified by the same organizations of enemy religions. The responsibilities of a divine champion is numerous, though they often act in their own free will when not directly required by their deity. Generally, these zealous rangers seek to protect sacred sites as well as the members of their faith, while destroying enemy religions and mythical beasts that cause uproar in their ideal civilization. At third level, you get deific spellcasting. When you choose this archetype at third level, your deity gives you a an, gives you access to a wider range of spells relating to their domain. Choose a divine domain from the cleric class. When your spellcasting feature le lets you learn or replace a ranger spell of first level or higher, you can choose a new spell from the chosen divine domain spells or the ranger spell list. You must otherwise obey all the restrictions for selecting the spell. Whenever you pick a cleric spell this way, it becomes a ranger spell for you. Additionally, choose Necrotic or Radiant. Whenever a ranger spell you cast deals damage to an enemy, you can instead replace that spell's damage with a chosen type. This damage type also affects your Favored Smites and Champion's Grace feature, some features that you get later on. Additional Favored Enemy. Beginning at 3rd level, you become proficient in hunting the enemies of your deity. You choose an additional favored enemy as well as an additional language. Generally, you should choose an enemy that re is reflective of your deity, such as undead, celestial, or fiends. Champion's Blessing At third level, you can channel some of your deity's power into, into support for you and your allies. As a bonus action, you can choose touch a creature and grant it temporary hit points equal to twice your ranger level. Additionally, the creature can add a d4 to an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw before the end of your next turn. Had to scroll. You can use this feature a number of times equal to your wisdom modifier, minimum of once. You regain all expended uses after finishing a long rest. Favored Smites. When you reach 7th level, you gain the ability to deliver devastating strikes to enemies of your deity. Whenever you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend a spell slot to deal an extra 1d8 damage to the target, plus, an, a, plus another d8, 1d8 per level of the spell slot. If the target is a favored enemy, the damage increases by an additional 2d8. Additionally, until the end of your next turn, the we next weapon attack against the target has advantage. The damage type of this smite is the same type of damage you chose with your DFX spellcasting feature. Sacred Defense At 11th level, your defenses against the otherworldly enemies you are sworn to fight increases. You have advantage on saving throws against spells and abilities of your favored enemies. Additionally, you can cast Protection from Evil and Good and Detect Evil and Good at will without requiring material components. And finally, 
Champion's Grace. Starting at 15th level, you can channel your deity's power into yourself as a bonus action for one minute or until you end it as a bonus action. For this minute, you gain a flying, fly speed equal to your walk speed, and whenever you hit a creature with a, a weapon attack, the attack deals an additional d6, 1d6 damage of the type chosen with your deific spellcasting feature. Interesting. Alrighty. So, criteria of, if I like the story... If I think it's too overpowered or too underpowered, if I think it's too close or not close, enough, too close to another spell, uh, another class, or another subclass, or if it should be for another class, and um, what I think of it, yeah, pretty much it. All right, story-wise, do like it. I think it is cool. Um, it's interesting that it's Ranger as the B Divine Champion. Although it could make sense. If it's like religious sites, it would make more sense. Um, let's see, Deific Spellcasting. I like that because it's, it's replacing your um, additional spells known for Divine Domain, which should be about the same. Um, and you use the same spellcasting and everything. The Necrotic or Radiant is interesting, where you can uh, replace spells damage with that. I think that might be a little overpowered, um, because the, some d damage types are generally better because they can't be resisted, or their people are vulnerable to it, or they're usually not resistant to it. Uh, Necrotic and Radiant are usually those. Um, you also get additional favorite enemy and additional language. Um, I don't think that's too overpowered. I, I don't know how powerful that, uh, favorite enemy is. Um, Champion's Blessing, bonus action, uh, uh, temporary points equal to twice your level, so here it's sixth level. Um, you can do it up to, like, your Wisdom modifier, which here it might be, like, a three. Um, so that's fine. In addition, uh, you get a D4, so like a minor bless and a little bit of a temporary hit points. I like that. Um, I don't think that's too powerful. Favored Smites. I like that because it pulls from Paladin, but it's at a far later level than when Paladins can do it. Um, the only thing that would make it a little more overpowered is the fact that it, with it, if it, you, Hit a favorite enemy, it takes an additional 2d8. So if you do a d8 of. Oh, well, I guess it does. So paladins, usually when they smite, it's 2d8, and if it's a, a undead or fiend, it's an additional d8. Here they swapped it where it's a 1d8 to the target, um, but it's 2d8 if it's a favorite enemy. So it's a little weaker than a smite, but it can become more powerful than a smite. Um, and it's either radiant or necrotic, which I think that's fine. Um, sacred defense. You have advantage against spells and abilities of your favorite enemies. I think that makes sense. I don't think that's too overpowered. Protection from evil and good and detect evil and good at will. That does seem a bit pushing it. Um... Yeah, Champion's Grace, although you are pretty high level, so I'm fine with it being at will. Um, you can fly and you deal additional d6 of damage whenever you hit one. Um, this is a little more of a damage boost, and you can fly, so you're a bit mo more mobile, which is nice. Um, I don't think that's too overpowered. It might be a little underpowered compared to other features. Um, I don't think it's... Um, the only thing that I think would be a little overpowered... What was it? I think the Radiant or Necrotic that you can change the damage for it. Deific Spellcasting. Um, and then the At Will... 
protection from evil and good and detect evil and good um, without required material components. Those might be a little overpowered, but I don't, uh, might not be. Um, so I think I like the features. I like the, um, the story. I think it, I don't know if it, it is exact, should be really a ranger. Maybe I can see it. I can see it should be something else, but I'm not sure what it should be. Maybe a fighter. Maybe not. Um, I, I think they flavored it well for a ranger, though. Um, I don't think it, it's not too much like another ranger subclass, which is nice. Um, yeah, I do like it. I do like the story. The author is, there's no name, but there is a, uh, Reddit handle. I get, did get this from Reddit as well. The Reddit handle is slash u slash eclipsed huntress. Um, so that you can find it. Um, again, I will post a link to this and we'll post a link to the post in my uh, description. Um, anywho, I hope you enjoyed this. This was really interesting, really informative. I hope you thought it was interesting and informative and felt like you could learn something. Um, if you did find learn some stuff and you thought it was interesting, you liked it, Feel free to share with your friends and family, your D&D group. If you don't, share it with people you hate, your DM. Just, just show how terrible I am. What is it? No, uh, no rep is bad rep or something like that. Bad expo... No exposure is worse than bad exposure. Exposures. I don't know. Words, sayings, things. Um, a little sneak peek of next week. Um, it'll definitely be longer. Um, the it is we're going to the sorcerer, and this one is called blood magic. There is some additional uh, a new spells, so I will be reviewing those. Um, and it looks like it's all about like using your own health to power your spells. Or empower your spells. Um, let's see. Anything else I should say? I don't think so. This was another short one. Or it seemed short. In that case. Uh, please, if you did like it. Please like it. Um, comment on it. Let me know if there's anything you would change. Or anything you agree with. Or disagree with. Or hate. Um, I probably will read it and cry. Um, make me cry. That would be fun. Um, anywho. Yeah, like, comment, maybe subscribe. Hopefully subscribe. And I will catch you next week for Sorcerer Blood Magic. See ya. Bye.